my welcome to the league well, it was training camp. That was one. Okay. With a running. Um, I probably said the first time Cole cussed me out. Oh, what did he say? How did this happen? Man, training camp. <laughs> Asshole, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what did was it like? Was it like looking back at it? Was it a was it an asshole move or was it like, nah, this is him? No, nah, it wasn't at all. It wasn't at all because it, it pushed me, bro. Because uh, I remember when it was it was preseason and we in a locker room and shout out to Nick Young, bro. And, <laughs> yeah, one of my vets, so you can imagine. Like, oh Lord, what I was going through. But uh, yeah, Nick. I think maybe it was maybe another teammate, maybe like Jay Hill, Jordan Hill, or I don't remember who it was. We were in the locker room talking, and uh, somebody had told me something about Col- what Kobe had said in the media, and I was like, "Bro, Kobe say this or whatever." And me, we, me and Nick, somebody else, we talking, and then Kobe come in. <laughs> right. <laughs> so Nick, bro, he like, "Hey, Kobe, you said that." <laughs> nah, 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 nah. And Kobe was like. What like so we having this whole conversation? He was like, I don't even remember what he said, bro. Yeah. In the convo, I just remember he ended it with, "Take your ass out there and shoot some jump shots <laughs> with your broke ass jump shot, motherfucker." <laughs> <laughs> and that's how it was. And I was hurt. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, I was like, this is my eye off of hurt. <laughs> and sure enough, that's what I went out there and did. <laughs> Okay. I went out there. It's exactly what I did, but yeah. like it was crazy, man, because I was still learning how to shoot the ball. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. and at the end of the training camp, and like at every practice, bro, I'm, I'm, I'm like, bro, I'm putting in the work. I'm like, man, I'm shoot these jumpers, dog, <laughs> whatever it was. And I start making some jumpers, and he like, see, he was like, that's a little bit of hard work. That's what it, that's what it is, huh? Okay. You see, you see, so it's some tough. You see, yeah, you see what it is. Mm-hmm. And uh, but in the moment, yeah, it hurt. Yeah, it <laughs> it's funny. Hurt. Uh, Roy would tell this story to me about Cole, uh, Roy Hibbert, and Cole had broke Roy's nose. <laughs> so year, you know, Roy was wearing a mask, and it came from an elbow from Cole. And uh, it was funny when he was telling me it. He he asked Cole like, "Yo, Cole, like," and and when he went to Cole, it was like a little kid, like thinking Cole was gonna be like, "Oh no, my bad. I'm sorry, I did that." Like, so he like, "Cole, hey, yo, you broke my nose, man." Cole yeah. said, "Stone face." He said, "You should have got the fuck out the way." Then. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that was him, like, bro. Yo, damn, yo, like, <laughs> that was him, bro. That was him. He was that like, was, "Dog, I thought he was gonna at least apologize." It was times where we'd be waiting on the plane, and I remember one time we were waiting on the plane, bro. It was like an hour, and the plane ain't leaving without Cole. Yeah, and he get there. And like everybody, Will like would tell everybody, the story. everybody happy he getting on the plane, right? But we being sarcastic. We like, hey, like, Cole, welcome. And he was like, man, y'all motherfuckers better be glad I'm here. <laughs> and then sat down <laughs> and say nothing the whole fight. Yeah, no, Lou, Lou would tell us the story when bro, we had bro, him. Lou would tell us the story, That's bro. how he was, bro. That was that's how he was. You literally say nothing too far. The plane, and then they'll hear the helicopter coming in. And he'll cold. land. Yeah. And the helicopter might be... 50 feet, bro. They got the golf cart, bought a helicopter <laughs> to golf him <laughs> to the plane, and then he walk on the plane. Yeah. Man, shout out all to Black Bean. Shades, all that. You know what I mean, bro. Kobe were, were you in the practice with the um, the Charmin? Were you Soft in that the practice? Charmin practice? Yeah. I wasn't in the practice. Okay, okay. But, but you was there that day? Yeah. What, what, like, bro? <laughs> <laughs> no, we we don't get one Kobe story. Uh, Explain. We gotta. Rookie, we man. gotta get to the bottom of how a, this shit happened. I was a rookie, so my yeah. leg was broke. <laughs> so I wasn't soft that day. Okay. But, uh, <laughs> Had some mercy. But I'm in uh, the that day. Yeah, with Charmin. Yeah. So I'm in the trainer room. I'm getting my my rehab and stuff. And all I hear is soft as Charmin. Y'all motherfuckers trash. Yeah. Like, just going crazy. You know, Kobe got a deep ass voice. So like, you hear it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And he just going back and forth. And I hear Nick, you can't go at me. Like, oh, you can't go at me. You can't go. All that, right? <laughs> so I just hear the back and forth, right? And then all I remember is like, I'm like, man, what's going on? Like, my first year in the NBA was a shock, bro. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm seeing everything, <laughs> right? So I'm like, man, what's going on? And uh, all I hear is what uh, Mitch was like, or Mitch Kupchak was our GM at the time. And Cole leaving the court. And he like, Mitch, I'm supposed to get better with this shit. I'm supposed to be get better with this shit. And then he walk in the locker room. He like, Jew, what the fuck is this, Jew? What the fuck? He's like, 
I'm supposed to practice? He's like, these motherfuckers making me worse. <laughs> 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 and he just walked out, bro. <laughs> and I'm like, bro, I'm like, damn. I'm seeing this. I'm like, damn. Yeah, like, what you say? Everybody, yeah, you, you know what say? He just... dapped me up. I'm like, yeah, they making you worse, Cole. Yeah, they making you, <laughs> <making> you worse. <laughs> and everybody just, you know, slow by one by one. Everybody started walking to the locker room. Yeah. But yeah, that was that was a day for sure. Yeah. So we 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 you you explain both sides of it. Him being that fierce competitor, and then him you know being that mentor. Um, I got to know both sides. I had my experience being you know a competitor against him. Um, but then as he retired, um, and then later in my <laughs> career, I really got to connect with him on on like a little bro, big bro uh, type relationship where I can call him up, I can text him. Um, I went down to his camp that summer when he did his, you know, Kobe elite shit where he was teaching the wings and the guards footwork and, mm -hmm. you know, just expanding our game. Like that's that, that was the beautiful part that he was getting to was helping the next generation. When it came to you, did you get more of that mentor side or did you get more of that? Just him. Not necessarily being an asshole, but him more so trying to mold you to 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 take that next step you know what i mean like from a pushing you you know type of thing yeah i got both like you said i got both yeah um, he was the first person that texted me like when i got drafted mm -hmm. you know what i mean and it was like all right you know let's let's get better let's do this or whatever it was uh but i got both man i, I remember driving out to to newport four o'clock in the morning just to do defensive slides bro like for two you hours you up to Newport to do defensive slides. Bro, it was the first time in my life I ever did a workout, and we just did straight defense, bro, yeah. for two hours, bro. <laughs> like, that's but crazy. that's how Sick, that's bro. how that's how his mind yeah. operates. He like, no, you don't, you can't slide this way. Yeah, like, you can't do a defense slide. You got to do this. Your feet got to be like this. Your yeah. hand, like, do you think a little bit of that was was to like test you? No, I think that's really what this. You think he was? I think this is really what he was. He was. Doing. He was on his way out doing this. Yeah, you know what I mean. But um, like so, I got that aspect of him. But I got to know him as a human being too. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, it was it was tough love, but it was it was stuff that pushed me, and I still carry to this day. Mm -hmm. Uh, but like as a person, bro, like he loved his family, man. Like loved his family, love love V, um. And you got to see that softer side of you, but like of him, but like he was a person that really didn't want to want to show no weakness. Show that shit, huh? Yeah, you know I mean, he didn't show no weakness. But yeah. like, if you sit down and and talk to him, he was an open book. You could ask him anything. He yeah. was an open book. That's and that's, he gone, and he was a student at the heart of who he was. He was a student, bro. So like, how we talk about like watching film and figuring it out. Uh, that's who he was. Mm -hmm. So like he would, and they, I remember in that time he would break down stuff to me. I'm like, bro, what are you talking about? Mm -hmm. Like it make no, no, it didn't make sense to me at all. Mm -hmm. But like as my career went on, I'm like, oh, mm -hmm. that's what it, that's what you meant. That's yeah. what you meant. Dang, and that's dang. what I, that's what I got a lot of from yeah. him. All right, Jackie, it's kind of sad, but the NBA season is done. But that doesn't mean that prize picks is done. What's the next sport that you're going to be making some money on? Golf, baby! You know I'm all up into that. <laughs> Look, the U.S. Open was in Los Angeles this past week, and my guys, John Rahm and Brooks, got me up big time, baby. But wait, wait, I'm too hyper. Let the people know what prize picks is. So, prize picks is a daily fantasy app. You pick two to six players, like the video on your screen. Then you pick if they will have more or less than their prize picks projected. Projection. You aren't competing against other people. It's just you versus the projections available. Look, I know how much I won, but tell the people on Prize Picks how much they can win, Dallas. So you guys can win up to 25 times your money on any entry. And on top of that, all first time users that deposit and use our promo code PodcastP will receive a 100% instant deposit match up to a hundred dollars. That means if you deposit twenty dollars, Prize Picks will give you twenty dollars. If you deposit one hundred dollars, Prize Picks will give you one hundred dollars. And y'all already know what time it is. Cha-ching! Cha